Hello again and welcome to Nine Fingered Photography. <clears throat> Today we're going to learn how to load our paper, our photographic paper, into our pinhole camera that we completed in the last lesson. You're going to need your pinhole camera, a roll of tape, and you'll have to locate the pinhole camera box where we keep the pinhole paper for the camera. First thing you need to do is open the rear of your camera. That would be the part that does not have the shutter. You open the rear, then you take a piece of masking tape, and you need about an inch. Take the masking tape, make a little ball or a little loop, if you will, and place it in the back of the camera. That'll keep the paper from falling down and up or moving around. Then you reach in to the photography excuse me, the pinhole camera paper safe. It's labeled pinhole. Grab a piece of your photographic paper. Place it shiny side up. Okay. Reminder, this must be done in the dark room under red light conditions. Place it back together. Keeping the shutter closed, you go outside. Make sure you set it down on an object. Hold the shutter open and count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, at least 20 seconds. Or if you're going to time it with your time, your watch, 20 seconds. If you're going to count, make sure you go Mississippi. A second is a lot longer than what you think. Then once you're done, you bring it back, you come into the dark room, then you'll come over to our developing trays that we have had set up and you've used in the shadowgram. We have our series of trays. You will take the paper out of the pinhole camera. Sometimes it's hard to open back up. We open it up, grab our paper, place it in the developer, and agitate it slightly. Make sure you dunk it. Agitate it. Light ripples. We are not going to make waves. Then, after a full minute, I'm going to accelerate this time up. We take it out, drip it, corner to corner, take it over to the stop bath. Again, 30 seconds. Agitating the full 30 seconds slightly. Remind, remember, you could put more than one print in the developer and in the fixer, or stop bath and fixer. After 30 seconds, take it out. Let it drip, place it in the fixer. The fixer, tap it, agitate it, two full minutes. And then once the two full minutes is up, take it out again and put it in the rinse. Now understand, I accelerated that. Then you will have what we call a negative image. If I can get this a little bit closer. This is your negative. The sky is black and then the ground is white. So we need to reverse that and that is done by making a positive and a contact print more specifically. So we go back to the enlarger that we use during our shadowgram. We have one set up here. We need to grab another piece of paper out of the pinhole box. happen to fall on the floor. Like grab it. You need to get rid of the easel. We will not use the easel this time and replace it with a piece of plexiglass. That's going to be used for our contact print. Before we do anything, I forgot to adjust the light and the timer. We need to adjust this to be on time and off. Adjust the timer to 20 seconds. That is put it on time off 20 seconds. The light should be, if we set it on focus just to see, it should be at its brightest. All right, at the brightest or down a click or two. We can see where our image is projecting or the light is projecting. You need to remember that. Shut it off, switch it to time. Now we're going to make what we call an emulsion sandwich. We have our image. We have our new piece of photographic paper. We put the image 
and the shiny side of our piece of new paper. So it's emulsion to emulsion or shiny side to shiny side. We place the image up and then place it under the plexiglass, aligning the two pieces together. Then we close the plexiglass. We turn on the time. We expose it for 20 seconds. This might seem like a lot compared to our shadowgram, but remember, we're penetrating it through the glass, the light, and through the back side of the paper. So you go with 20 seconds, and then when it's done, we'll return back to the island where we develop it. Now we take it. We only need to put the emulsion, or the one we exposed on the bottom, back in the developing tray. Let me adjust the camera again. And we put that in the developer. Again, dunking it. By this time, you should know it is one full minute agitation back and forth. Then, after a minute, again, I'm going to accelerate this. We put it in the stop bag. Notice I put the tongs back in. Keep the right tongs in the right tray. We do not want to have contamination with our chemicals. Then again, after 30 seconds in the stop bath, drip corner to corner, and then release it into the fixer. And again, agitation for one minute, just a slight agitation. A reminder to help clean the, keep the darkroom clean, please, if you do make mistakes, make sure they find their way into the trash can. After one minute, drip, put it in the rinse for four minutes. And again, once we're done, we will end up with a nice positive, all right? Which you can see the opposite. We have on your left will be the negative. Notice how what is black in the positive is now was white, excuse me, in the negative. And what was black in the negative is now white in the positive. And that's how you make a pinhole print, both a negative and a positive. Both are required for your project. When you're done, please label a piece of paper with your name in pinhole prints and put both of these in. Label the negative, label the positive. If you made more than one negative and more than one positive, please feel free to place both of those on your paper. Thank you. Happy pinhole camera making and pinhole print making with you. Thank you and see you next time on Nine Fingered Photography.